Now, do not scratch on the TV. No, no, do not, no, put your hands down. Only watch, only watch. We're only watching. No touching.
the Stanley Cups, the Yeti Cups, the Hydro Flask Cups, they will all come and go. But the Mason Jar will always stay. You know? Something to think about. This is currently my new favorite mug. It's very good. Good morning. Um, I ended up waking up a little bit later than I wanted to. I think I drank too many cups of coffee yesterday because I stayed up pretty late on my phone playing Candy Crush because I couldn't fall asleep. I hate to be that person, but I am a Candy Crush person. I'm on level 3750. Um, in my character, I am like this little prince man. I never picked him, and I don't know why I'm stuck with that little prince man. I can't seem to change him. Anyways, I don't know what the deal is with that, but I do love Candy Crush. That is not how I thought I'd start off this video. <laughs> I think I might be done embracing winter. No, I'm not done yet, but I'm getting close to being done. I think I might be ready for spring here soon. I do want to go outside on a walk, so we'll definitely have to bundle up because I think it's like 20 degrees. My hair is about two, three weeks past due and I'm feeling a bit insecure about it. I have an appointment I think next Tuesday but boy do I wish it was right now. Uh, I think maybe I'll put it in a little braid and that'll make me feel better about it but This is my favorite spot on the farm. It's my like little swimming hole area. And the farm owners actually call it Anna's Rock, which I think is cute. This makes me want to go swimming so bad. Like I don't even care if it's cold. I won't, I just want to. In the springtime, like all the frogs will like mate and stuff in here and like make a bunch of little babies and it's very cute. The thing I love about this farm so much is that it's definitely like a quiet farm. It's definitely, it's more of a retired horse farm I'd say. And so it's kind of just become this oasis for all of nature and animals. And so there are so many deer and there are a lot of bears and just, I don't know, the nature feels like heavier here, I guess. Obviously it's the woods, but it just feels like it's like a, the animals know like this place is a safe space. I was down here this summer and I was skinny dipping in the river here at this spot and a bald eagle landed on one of the lower trees and we just like had a moment and looked at each other and we were like, hello. And yeah. And you flew away. I don't know. It's just like this place really feels like you enter into another realm. Whoa. I definitely do want to have my own house and land one day, but I'm not really in a hurry. And this place makes me feel so 
special and like held and I would love to find a place that makes me feel that way and that's definitely not something I'd want to rush into so I know one day I will find it but I'm not really in a hurry I could stay here all day an order to go? Yeah, can I get a name for the order? Anna. Can I get the banh mi with the jalapenos and then the with the crunchy rolls? Can I also get a chai tea? The latte? Chai tea, we want it hot. Yes, please. Alright, I'll get that started for you. Okay, thank you. Yep. Bye. Bye. Love you. <laughs> Kidding. Here's what I'm thinking. Lunch tea, thrift store, and then I have to go to the grocery store really quick, and then we'll come back home and have a really cozy night. That sounds cute to me. I vote yes. This place is so good. I've had a hyper fixation on this place for like a few weeks now. So good. I hate when people walk near me. Go away. Get away from me. Oh no, the bag rip. Oh no. Oh no, oh no. This place is only open for lunch, and I think it's like 12 to 3 on Tuesdays and through Saturdays. Oh my goodness, and they have pho too. But I'm always like eating it and like eating it in my car, and I can't really eat pho in the car. Now for the part we've all been waiting for. Hello? I'm like their number one fan. Little do they know.
A majority of the stuff I got ended up being just stuff for Alex, but I did get some cute stuff. But mostly like household stuff. For Alex, I found a bunch of Carhartt t-shirts. I got him ones in cream and like tans. His favorite color is green, so I got him like this cool like vintagey looking, uh, what do you call this? Like a windbreaker? Yeah. Cute. He's been wanting some workout pants that he doesn't like it when they have like cinches on the bottom. So these were like loose. These are like Puma, like vintage Pumas. Are these Pumas? Yes. Vintage. So that's what he got. And I do have a feeling he's going to try to steal this shirt from me. But this shirt is mine. This is my shirt. But it's this like really cool like vintage denim button down that's like all different colors. I love, love, love. And then I got these two cute little flower bowls. They're only 99 cents. They're like good for like sauces and stuff like that. And then I got these two cute little glass like decanter bottles. I don't know what I'm going to do with them quite yet, but I'm going to put them like in my apothecary. And then lastly, I got this super cute little bottle. I think I'm going to put this in my bedroom. I like to put like little girly stuff like this on my like little vanity. Like look how cute. Isn't that adorable? I love it. I'm trying to be very, very intentional with the clothes I bring home from thrift stores. Like, I just did a big old closet clean out and I don't want it to be like a big mess again. And I don't want to just buy things just because I think they're cool. I want to buy things because I think I would wear them and that they fit my body type and they're my style. Like, so. Those are my new like thrifting rules I have for myself. But that's what I got. girls are begging for a treat. But they literally just ate dinner. You guys do not need a treat. No! I swear, anytime I am in the kitchen, the girls come running. They could be upstairs and then they hear me walk into the kitchen and they're like... Tch, 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 tch. They think they're gonna get some. They ain't getting nothing. Uh, I need to make dinner because I'm hungry. Um, my favorite thing to make when I don't feel like really putting in a lot of effort, but I still want something nutritious it's guys this is a, a curry packet it's a curry packet you guys don't want this oh curry curry I'm literally holding like boiled water sometimes and they're like please and I'm like you want boiled water can you hear it oh my god guys Apparently they need a treat so bad or they're gonna die. So we're gonna get them a stinking treat. Again. Okay, thank you. Now everyone get out of the kitchen. Everyone get out of the kitchen. We had our little treat. Thank you. No more. Go away, please. Love you though, love you though. Back, oh, back to what I was saying. Uh, I like to make curries from Trader Joe's. All Trader Joe's ingredients. When I want something healthy, but I'm kind of feeling like I don't really care about putting like a crazy thing together. Uh, I'm using the Greek chickpeas from Trader Joe's. I'm gonna just...
to another pan, I'm just going to add these green onion pancakes. They're so freaking good. I'm also adding just a bunch of chopped frozen spinach. Also going to add a little bit of vegetable broth. I promise I shop at other places other than just Trader Joe's. I promise. <laughs> it's just that everything is from there. <laughs> oh. <laughs> it's working. Now we are going to add copious amounts of cheese. Um, I like the way the cow looks on this. And I have been shoveling this into my mouth for the past 10 minutes. So, I'm barely even hungry anymore. <laughs> Good, good, good. <laughs> Next, you take this three minute rice and put her in here. I bought this microwave because she's pretty, not because she works. Now we wait. Mmm. So good. Looks like everything's ready. Yeah. It is. Oh gosh. Okay. Gonna give me these skin pancakes. It's good, but like everything. I need sriracha. <laughs> Apparently a lot of sriracha. I've been watching the Zelda Fitzgerald series on Amazon Prime. This series came out forever ago, but I just started randomly watching it the other day and I like it a lot. Uh, I read her book, not her book, but the book about her like forever ago when I was a teenager. And yeah, I just completely forgot this series existed, so I'm, I'm really liking it right now. And what does Scott think of it all? You're his wife now, baby. You have obligations. <laughs> uh, roll film. Action. Look to your left. Shinobi. You're in Montgomery, Zelda. beautiful boy you have ever seen just walked in. Thank you. 